Well, you know what? And, and being that I am the mom, I know what just makes her shine. And I want her to shine. And also my bridesmaid, Taryn. <laughs> <laughs> There's another bride here too, right? Yes. yes. Me. I feel maybe really cause, guilty. Maybe cause all this stress. I love both dresses, but I really cannot decide. Why have you decided to shop together today? To make sure we don't get the same dress. Yes. <laughs> What you need to think about is... Number 7. Bridesmaids Blues Jamie Soricelli's wedding is a heartbeat away, and she has come to Kleinfeld with some pretty simple and straightforward wishes. She is looking for a dress which speaks to her heart, and it should not have a back. Her friend Kelly, on the other hand, is an old hand at choosing dresses for other brides, and she's not about to fade into the shadows with Debbie helping her best friend. Even before the appointment has started, Kelly has given a long list of dress do's and don'ts to Debbie and is intent on taking over the appointment from the stylist. Well, Kelly's wish is certainly not Debbie's command, and she is not about to let an upstart take over the reins Kelly is not stopping from trying. Bombarding dress after dress into the changing room is how she rolls, finally making the faux pas of the century by offering the bride a dress which is more than double her budget. And this mistake has left Jamie wallowing under the heartbreak of falling in love with a beautiful creation too far out of her reach. Kelly's not done yet, and instead of apologizing for a mess of her own making, she has chosen to vent her spleen on the styling aides helping Jamie try to win back her long-gone spirit. Easier said than done, as the appointment winds up closing under the weight of disappointment. Number 6. Curve Fight Mi Wei is a huge problem and it's got everything to do with her UK size 12. Not a part of Malaysia's swelt and slim population, she has experienced the indignity of being turned down by various salons before ending up in Jovian Mandagi's expert care. The first dress she is in is a beautiful creation, but it lacks the emphasis on curves the couple wants to make. So the next dress with its mermaid cut is the perfect answer to their needs. Tried any dresses before? So I've only tried the basic A-line kind of skirt. I mean, that's the only one that like, they usually have in mm. my size. I want to try something a bit different just to see how it looks on me. Just something a bit more fit and flair kind of look. Mm -hmm. When it comes to my size, they normally gravitate more towards A-line. I always tell her that you look beautiful. We definitely find something that looks good on you. Oh, Let's go now. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So it looks very curvy. I feel they like emphasize the wrong part, which is very bad. That. You won't know till you try it. Uncle. That makes me even more determined to find her the perfect wow dress. My friends, they are very uh, positive, but sometimes you can't help to feel like a little bit pudgy and chubby compared to them. But what it's got is a deeply divided posse, which has come prepared to express its reservations, complete with cards. Dress number three is a bit more conservative with more detailing on the sleeves, but once again, it's left the entourage divided. It's clear that Mi Wei has to make an executive decision and she has decided to take dress number three home with her. Uh, I just feel a little bare though. I feel that my shoulders look very small and I feel very... I normally see in a typical bridal studio, so probably he feels that I could do better. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> wow. Wait, here you go. Good, seeing the curves now. <laughs> Fatness. No, you look curvy. You have a nice butt. Design. I am a bit confused about which direction to go now. I feel maybe really cause, guilty. Maybe cause all this stress. <laughs> I love both dresses, but I really cannot decide. It was much sexier. The boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it lower cut? Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> So what do we think, guys? I hope they can all agree. I'm saying yes to the dress! <laughs> Number 5. Stuck on Black Tracy Riley has tried on 100 dresses and it looks like she'll try 100 more with how this appointment is going. Tracy is dreaming of finding a black dress but mom's refusing to sign off to that. This clash has led Tracy and her family from door to door with no end in sight. And it's brought her to tears. Will Randy be able to save her dreams, especially when mom is down to playing a dirty game and roping her black-hating fiancé into siding with her? Randy has Tracy in a panina tournée and its flattering form is looking spectacular on the bride. Of course, mom doesn't agree, which has made this appointment its latest victim. Number 4. Double Trouble Melissa and Nikki are helping Janaya Shaw find the dress of her wedding dreams. Sitting beside her is Tarini Dukes from Memphis, Tennessee, who hopes to get obliged too. Hi. Hi. 
Hi. I'm actually looking for Janaea. That's me. And also my bridesmaid, Tarani. <laughs> <laughs> There's another bride here too, right? Yes. Me. We've been friends for 16 years. Oh, wow. We met our senior year of high school. Have you decided to shop together today? To make sure we don't get the same dress. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to try this dress on first, because my wedding's first. That's not going to happen. What about budget? They are not only shopping together, but they happen to be best friends as well as bridesmaids to each other. Their demands are pretty simple, with the first one being that they don't get identical dresses. Phew, there's a load off our minds. But hold on, storm clouds are gathering on the horizon as both friends do seem to have their hearts stuck on the same gown. This friendship is fast heading for doomsday and some pretty fancy footwork is required for Melissa and Nikki. Bride One has put on the dress both had been in love with first. It's put the friendship on the line and Tarini has risen to the occasion like a hero, much to the pride of Mom Ginny. Both brides are facing a serious conundrum and it's put their friendship on a precarious position. Will friendship trump over fashion or will it have two friends part? You and your best friend getting married around the same time? How exciting! It is! You want to share everything. Yes! I just need to tell y'all something because I'm going to explode. It was crickets. What do you think? I mean, I absolutely love this dress. You and I were in that dressing room. She finally had her aha. It seems that Janaya has the same beautiful heart as her friend, which has kept them together all these years. A lot of tears and heart-trending love for the dress has to take a backseat when it comes to their partnership and Janaya is refusing to choose the dress as her bridal gown until her friend finds a dress of her own dreams. I know that when you were out here on the runway in this dress, you held back a lot because you're an amazing friend. But when this is my dress moment and she's too good of a friend to tell you. I mean, she's a good friend, she is. She wants me to be happy and I want her to be happy. Right. If she finds a dress, then I'll say yes to this dress, okay? I absolutely love this dress, but my friendship with Tarani is way more important than any dress. Number three, Mama Don't Preach. Rennie Schultz is having difficulty getting mom's approval for her wedding gown would be an uphill battle, and dress number one is already feeling the heat of mom's disapproval. It seems to me that we're having rides with some indecision. Some we need to find the reason for their indecision. I'm nervous for my consultant because for about two months now, I've been going, you know, once a week with my friend Lindsay. I want her honest opinion as well. I'm here because she wants me to be here. I want a whole lot of beading. I want a whole lot of lace. Okay. Thankfully, me and my mom agree really well. Perfect. And what do you think? I just don't like this part, this sort of fountain-y. Very much like this one better than the other one. You do like this one? Nice. I just think this is m more Simple elegant. Ed. It was very clear that mom's really the one I'm going to have to cater to in this particular situation. Hopefully, dress number two won't find the same fate as number one, but that's not how things are going. The next dress is a beautiful champagne color, but mom doesn't agree. It's clear that mom is not a fan, but the bride has fallen for it. It seems this dress choosing has become a family clash, and this time, the mom is using finances to bash the dress with. What you need to think about is the alterations. That's going to definitely affect your budget. Yay, oh. veil! I like the veil. What do you say, Mom? If I turn it around where the focus is more on accessories, maybe Mom will come around. My gosh, it's like she doesn't want her to find a gown here. I think alterations are going to be very expensive. The bride has to go home with no meeting halfway. Number two, mom versus daughter. Aja Thompson is getting married and it's given her the perfect excuse to step out of the scrubs she's always wearing, courtesy of her job as a dentist's assistant. I'm just looking for elegant sexy. I'm looking for sexy sexy. Well, we have some beautiful dresses to show you. I'm very excited. Me too, thank okay. you. One thing. So is that the sexy you were looking for? Yeah, it's like, it sucks in my ways. To best describe it, our epic fail. Yeah. Mm -mm. Come on, give me something else. Yeah. I like the dress. I'm disappointed with my family because they don't like it. I love the bottom, the back. I felt like I was on the runway with that dress. While Aja wants to relive her girly fantasies, her mom is intent on bringing her into adulthood according to her own tastes. 
It's a typical clash developing between mother and daughter, so commonly seen which is why the stylists are not the least bit phased by the storm clouds brewing on the horizon. While the bride might be looking for feminine and demure, mom has her heart set on her daughter coming out as Lolita on her wedding day. Something's gotta give and it certainly won't be Aja if Randy has something to say about it. She has gone so far as to put on a black gown far, far away from her comfort zone and still, all she's getting from mama is a shake of her head. Finally, the bride has hit on a beautiful contemporary piece which seems to be the perfect amalgamation of the old with the new. The deep back is in complete contrast to the lace fabric of the dress, but that is its only salute to traditionality. A corseted top supported by spaghetti straps has taken its leagues away from a demure piece. But still, Aja's family requires a little more bling to give it their consent, which is what Panina Tourne has finally done. Well, you know what? And, and being that I am the mom, I know what just makes her shine. And I want her to shine. It has to be in the back. I saw a picture of it. But this mm. one, this one has too much material yeah. for you. This one I don't want to go out in. It's pretty, right? It's pretty plain. It's pretty, but it's a simple pretty. And my boobs look good. This dress hugs me in all the right places. I don't have to add more bling. It's perfect. Number one, Drama Mama. Samantha El Kasaf is the unlucky bride-to-be who has been roaming all over the world looking for her perfect dress and 80 different salons have seen her face on her hunt. So what's keeping this beautiful bride from making a final choice and moving ahead with her wedding? Randy seems to have uncovered the stink directly coming from her mom Diana. She seems dedicated to breaking her daughter's heart each time she comes out wearing a beautiful dress. Samantha wearing a beautiful number would melt the hardest heart and all she's getting from Diana is scorn and ugly comments, which seem as ugly as her heart. Her cruelty has broken Samantha's heart, leaving everyone a witness. The appointment has clearly gone to hell, and this bride is going home with only one companion, desolation. That's all we have for you folks. Join us next time.